everyone, this is Majapi Milot and you're watching my YouTube channel Sani Ittehad which aims to invoke a little bit of humanity in all of us through awareness and understanding. So um, yesterday I watched this video, um, it, it, it is in Urdu and it is by this uh, guy named Moro and he was explaining the uh, similarities between evolution the theory of the darwin theory of evolution and islam and um i thought that i should i by the way i would um put the link in the description box so you can go and check his videos uh but unfortunately it's in urdu so not many people who know uh urdu or hindi would be able to understand basically he tells that you know um hasham allah god has had created um you know humans first in the form of a wild beastly form and it it was similar to the process of uh, women um becoming pregnant and you know all that so it it, it happened actually in earth uh, like in in this mud there was this mud mud ball which was hardened and within that mud ball there was this um you know initial wild beastly kind of human was created and then when he, they like come into this form and then they mated and then you know the humanity just uh, humans these wild human race was spread across uh, the you know world and out of this um beastly uh creature beastly human form uh, there was this adam and there was this eve and uh, hashem allah selected them and then put them in heaven and then you know and later on uh adam and eve and their descendants sort of you know um i don't killed other people or other beastly people killed each other and they somehow died and disappeared and those beastly creator creature cre human initial beastly forms were actually monkeys so um anyway to be very fun to be very honest the whole concept the way he explained was pretty effed up and i thought i need to make a video so i did so um and then he related the, the the whole concept of mud ball and then the beastly man coming out of that to the quranic verses i don't know okay. but anyway so this also you know these kind of analogies when you know um either any um religious scholars or you know these young men who are passionate about islam and science and want to just moderate in in in, in a certain way and try to put forth a very good picture of islam uh, get busted instead and islam gets like you know even more uh, bad reputation so first of all don't do this highly recommended do not do that darwin and islam are just two different things let's just admit it um personally i do not agree with the darwin's darwin's theory of evolution obviously because i'm religious <laughs> jewish is parent convert religious so uh, <laughs> but even even though even, even before that i did not come across jewish concepts and jewish theologies i had a little awareness of what darwin's uh, theory of evolution is and i've never agreed to it because i just don't digest the concept of uh, monkeys transforming into human beings um there is this evolution that you know um i believe in evolution in 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 that sense that you know they there were species who uh, over the year uh, over the over the period that our earth has evolved climatically and otherwise so the species as per the climates as per their you know mating uh, um, patterns one can say mating patterns in, in a way that they made it within their you know uh, their own species and they have transformed through environmental and physiological changes which actually occur uh, during the course of the um, you know aging of this earth so humans evolved not physiologically but yes physiologically also we evolved in a sense that um, um, 
our age, our health, our even physical structures. I mean, if we just see um, in, in like near Eastern times, people were much more taller, much more, you know, much more athletic and much more. And now that we, we have less uh, things, less physical stress to go through. I mean, we don't walk, we don't, you know, there is a lot of automation and machines doing things for us. So we are more lethargic, lazy. <laughs> and, no, but... I mean, humans and every other, you know, species have evolved. And what this change um, does is that it becomes a permanent thing. And then the previous species no longer exists. So if monkeys still exist, that means that we did not come from monkeys. Because those monkeys who, didn't, who still exist, how come they didn't transform into human beings? So that shows us that they're different, um, you know, species and we're different species. And then he quoted this Quranic, uh, Quranic verse and the translation of it. And it was written, we created men. So when we say we created men, what does it mean? Uh, plural gods, because as per my knowledge of Islam, which I really want to forget. No. So, okay. So, you know, as per Islam, as per Christianity, as per, you know, Judaism, to begin with, um, there is only one, uh, there is this totality of, um, and oneness of Hashem, of God, of Allah. So, this is actually a contradiction to itself. The guy was saying, we. But in the Jewish scripture, and only in the Jewish scriptures and the rabbinical interpretation, we means that humans have, uh, humans were created um, in the end, in the last, when Hashem created all the rest of the creation, whether plant species and animal species, they were all created before man. Man was created in the evening, uh, the very end of the sixth day. And therefore, um, humans have the DNA of all the other species. We have this little thing um, of every other, uh, you know, species. And why is that? It's because we should be aware of what this whole thing is. And Jewish and Kabbalah mystical concept of is that our animal soul is a combination of all the animalistic beings which exist on this planet earth so that is the only logical understandable uh, explanation for this plural we that i had seen but this guy obviously didn't uh, explain that so um that was one thing so in my personal opinion i do not believe that humans have evolved uh, over the years over the course of 10,000 or 12,000 uh, years from monkeys because if that was the case monkeys wouldn't have existed um, in in today's time because that is the pattern of the species the previous species are um, you know they, they they become extinct as soon as the more refined version of that species uh, you know emerges so to speak so uh, that was the thing and then also he um, quoted this one thing that theory the uh, evolution theory is actually based on a fact and scientific theory uh, comes or is accepted by science, science scientific uh, you know community because it has been tested or uh, tested uh, like mathematically or you know experimentally so that you know they, then it becomes a theory uh, again i disagree with it um because if that was the case then darwin would have taken a chimpanzee and then raised him and sort of taught him some languages and see how you know physiologically and biologically a monkey is evolved into a human being eventually in the course of you know, like 50 60 years but he didn't do that uh, his um theory was based on uh, past theories and the uh, skeletons or the you know the um uh, archaeological uh, remains which were you know found in different places of the earth and different research which was carried out before him 
but then again um from a uh, from archaeological data and from these bones we cannot tell uh, that all of the humanity evolves from these skeletons maybe it could be um some species species i mean i mean there 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 are you know genetical disorders um in some human uh, beings even in this time you know you, you know there there are cases of you know down syndrome where you know the brain is not the skeleton the brain is not fully developed so one might can say that you know these skeletons or these um these uh bones and these archaeological remains could be of some people who were not you know uh, properly you know uh properly what you can say um were not healthy humans in 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 that sense i mean that that even is a very uh, offensive word but you know the, the, the we need to understand that in those times like thousands of years ago when people would have children with you know physiological or mental disorders there is like i mean how can you you know uh, and and there could easily be that possi- possibility of that because obviously either there there would be you know communities who would be growing and farming and eating vegetarian food and there could be communities who would just eating meat so the the, the uh, possibility of having a physiological or mental disorder among among the children or their offspring tend tend to become a very large in percentage so um in in that sense i i don't think that theory scientific theory necessarily means that it is a fact or it is being uh, tested uh, einstein he also refers to einstein's theory of e is e uh, e is equal to mc square uh and the, the in in the calculation of e is equal to mc square which einstein did to prove his theoretical concept of energy transforming into matter and vice versa uh, in you know uh, square the speed of uh, light or time that factor that f- factor becoming squared that was mathematical representation he never did a experiment on that he explained it by saying okay this is a dumbest person's explanation of e is equal to mc square is basically a guy who is sitting on a seat he is not moving at all and he is sitting on a bullet train who is going really fast so the thing is this is i mean the train is matter he himself is a matter but he is in in a still form sitting in a chair but the you know the other matter which is the train is moving in a very fast speed and you know it, it is actually transforming the energy uh it is the energy which is trans- transporting that person who is a matter and who is in in a still form from one place to another place so that sort of explanation that he gave, and then he did it mathematically and proved that this is that but then again he this um theory of uh, relativity is not functionally you know you know proved yet because uh, he he said that humans can try to i mean in a given speed of light uh, if uh, we are able to do that we can transform matter from one dimension to another or we can transform matter to energy and then energy into matter as well like in in, in a solid form so that has not yet been done um so in, in that case theory is something which is not necessarily proved like through experimentation or you know it, it's a general fact acceptable to everyone uh, but uh, a theory which becomes uh, experimentally proved and one can see that becomes a law like law of motion law of um equilibrium that you can prove uh, like you can see it with your naked eye and everything so it is like a law that this is the physical law that if you move one 
thing it will move in the opposite direction from the uh, from the direction that you push or apply force to it so uh, that was one thing so i might not be a big and huge fan of dr zakanais i actually i'm kind of away I mean, i disagree here disagree with him on many points but i on this point that he said that the evolution theory is not proved or it could be just a bogus theory altogether um i totally agree with zucker knight on that point that this is how the scientific uh research or even any research works out until or unless you prove that through experimentation at any given point of time not just while you're doing the research but at any given point for example if somebody could have proved that a monkey still today can transform into a human being then we can say evolution theory is a law of evolution <laughs> rather than a theory so it was something going on in his mind which and he based his theory on the archaeological findings of ancient humans which he thinks the skeletons and bones were actually humans it could be you know skeletons of 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 big gigantic monkeys who knows so um the theory of evali theory of evolution is just a theory it's not a fact it's not a law and anyone else could do um a better research right now in like in a couple of months and can just disprove this entire theory so theory is something which we we cannot experimentally prove at a given point or time so uh this was something that i wanted to share i hope um i hope i make sense and even if i don't uh here's a new perspective and i hope you enjoy that thank you very much